Ratings bonanza. Harry and Meghan are ratings gold, guys. Did you know that ESPN has seen its largest audience for the SP's ESPN Awards since 2019? So yes, that's what's been said. And I tell you, so we know that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have proven to be a significant draw for viewers as evidenced by the record-breaking um, ratings for the ESPN 24 Awards, SV, for the 24 SP Awards. The event which saw Prince Harry honored with the Pat Tillman Award for his service attracted the largest audience ESPN has seen for the ESPYs since 2019. We know their ratings go, guys. We know Netflix, Harry and Meghan was smashed it. It was a great it. We know Spare broke all record. Guinness Book of World Record. It has broken every single record. So we know the fascination. We know people are interested in them and everything they do, they, all they do is win, 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 no matter what. They are breaking records. The haters can't stop watching. And we the fans, oh my God, we are in awe every time they come out. We love them. So yes, bring it on. We are here for it. Ratings gold. Guys, this is amazing. So the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have long been a subject of public fascination and their presence at the award show undoubtedly contributed to the spike in viewership. I hear they had over 2.6 million views. Um, in addition to the views, Harry's speech has over, I think, maybe 4.5 is it billion or million views? I'm not sure. But yes, the speech was great where other people were coming in at 100,000. Harry's speech alone garnered so many eyeballs. People were listening to it. People were saying Harry should run for president. Why we can't change our constitution so Harry can run for president. So it was so, I tell you, the fans... The haters love to hate, but yes, they always seem to draw a lot of eyeballs and on Harry and Megan. So they don't even know what they're doing. They're so silly in their in their hatred that they they hate watch. But we love it because they always allow Harry and Megan to have a rating success. So people want them at their events. Prince Harry's powerful and heartfelt acceptance speech where he honored Pat Tillman's mother and Pat Tillman himself, despite the controversy, resonated deeply with many viewers. Meghan Markle's stunning return to the public eye after two months added an extra layer of excitement to the event. Dressed in a gorgeous cream silk Oscar de la Renta gown, she captivated the audience and media alike further amplifying interest in the ceremony. ESPN's Vice President for Production, Kate Jackson, noted the significance of the evening, saying, It's our privilege to recognize three incredible individuals, Steve Gleason, Don Staley, and Prince Harry. The combination of these honorees, along with the com compelling presence of Harry and Meghan, created a perfect storm for high ratings. The ESPYs also featured a warm tribute from host Serena Williams, which did Serena did a fantabulous job in hosting. I am so surprised she went above and beyond because you know you never expected that from Serena, but she did a fabulous job. A close friend of the couple, Serena is a close friend of Meghan and Harry, which added to the nice um, star-studded allure. Her shout out to Harry and Meghan, along with her light-hearted jokes, brought a personal touch to the event, making it even more engaging for the audience. Overall, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's involvement in the 24 SP Awards not only highlighted their ongoing influence, but also underscored their ability to draw audiences, making them true ratings gold for ESPN. Yes, guys, ratings gold. Anything they do, the fascination is definitely there. 
I just love how Harry and Meghan go about their business. People are just fascinated. Let's be real. So, guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you never miss a beat. Bye.